If you're looking for an easy and useful way to learn QuickBase pipelines, I've got you covered. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. In this training, I'm gonna show you how to create a CSV file from a QuickBase table and then share it through email. You can tell that my account's been enabled for pipelines because you can see pipelines here in the header. We're also going to be using an app from the App Exchange called the Simple Project Manager. So if you want to follow along and build this for yourself, simply go and download the Simple Project Manager from the App Exchange. I have made slight modifications, including adding a documents table, which we will be using in this demonstration, but I trust that you'll be able to add that if you want to follow along. To access step-by-step -step written instructions from everything from obtaining access to pipelines, to getting the app from the App Exchange, building your pipeline, and creating the schedule for that CSV file to be emailed, check out quickbasejunkie.com slash pipelines CSV. The link is below and I will take you step-by-step -step through all of those details that you can reference anytime outside of this video. So let's jump right into pipelines. I'll open it simply by clicking. And now I am in the pipelines dashboard. I'm not gonna take you step-by-step step through this because I really just wanna get to this tutorial of the example. So we are going to jump right in and create that pipeline. Now this pipeline is going to be to email CSV file. So I'll give it a name and we're going to use two what's referred to as channels. We'll be using our QuickBase channel, but then also this bucket channel. This bucket channel is what's gonna allow us to create the CSV file. We're actually gonna start with this channel and we're gonna use the items here in the pipeline rows. So the very first thing we're gonna do is define the table that will in essence be the container for our CSV file. Starting with our header separator, this is just the separator that we're gonna use as we define the header for each of the columns in our CSV file. For this CSV, I'm gonna just use three fields. I'm gonna use task name, I'm going to use status, and assigned to. I'm just simply writing in text. These labels do not have to match what's in your QuickBase for the table that we're going to be creating the CSV file based on. Simply whatever those header names are that you want to have. And now it has taken each of these headers that I've written in and given me fields to populate. I'm gonna define what type of field this is. These all happen to just be string fields. They're just strings of text. However, if they uh, were some other type of integer, Boolean, date, time, number, uh, I would choose that in these various dropdowns. I don't have any dates, but I can define what the date format is here as well for my table should I have any dates assigned to it. So that's it. That's the first thing we need to do is define that container for our CSV file or table. And now the next thing we want to do is pull in the information from QuickBase. So I'm going to query QuickBase. So I'm going to search for those records that I want to include on my CSV file. You're going to choose your account. It's based on a user token. So you need to have a user token set up for yourself I labeled this one pipelines because it is the user token that I will be using for my pipelines. The table I'm going to choose is from the simple project manager task table. And now the fields. These are the fields that I'll be able to use in this pipeline. So I want to include any field that I want to use in this pipeline. So for me, I know that is the task name and I'm typing in and it's searching for me, the status, and the assign to. These are the fields that I wanna be able to utilize throughout my pipeline. Now, I don't wanna bring in every 
record that's on that table. I only want to bring in ones that meet certain conditions. So in this case, I'm going to choose status and the status is equal to, and we're going to choose in progress. So this way we bring in all in progress tasks from that table into our CSV file. Now they're not quite there yet. We've created a table and we've queried QuickBase for these records. Now we need to actually populate our table. What we have here now is for each, and this is referring to item B, which is the item above or our query from QuickBase. So item B, for each of those, do this. <laughs> this is the next step in the process. So for each of these, what we want to do Let's go back to our bucket and add a row. Each of the records that is found in the query, we want to populate as a row in our CSV file. And now we can choose our table. So that was the table that we initially created. If we hadn't created that table, we wouldn't be able to add a row. So we need that container to add the row to. And now it's saying, okay, that table has been defined with status assigned to and task name. Great. Now I can populate each of these with the information in item B, which was our query. So I'll pull from the right, right hand side status into my status bucket. I'll pull, let's see, task name into my task name. And for assigned to, because this is a user field, I've got different options. First name, last name, screen name, ID, email. I'm going to just choose screen name and pop that in. Great. So now we've defined our table. We've queried QuickBase. We have set up each of the rows for every row we're going to, or for every record, we're going to add a row with this information that's tied back directly to the record. Fantastic. Once it's created all of those rows, the next thing we want to do is download our CSV file. Now this one, we want to make sure we bring that all the way back to the very beginning. Um, you see here farther on the left as the next step, as opposed to just above here where that would have been part of the loop. So we'll choose the table from here. It's called pipeline row, but that's referring to the table. And that's basically it to get this download file. Now, in order to email it and send it on a schedule, we'll get to that next, but let's test run this pipeline. Great thing about pipelines, you can see what's happening as it's happening. I'm gonna click this run pipeline button up here. And here it is, it's starting up, it's doing its thing. It's creating the table, it's querying the records, querying, creating the loop, adding my rows, generating the CSV file, and outputting the CSV file, essentially. This is my file. This is the link that's going to allow me to directly download that CSV file onto my computer. Fantastic. I'm gonna click this just so we can see it. Save it to my computer and open. There it is. Okay, I had two rows that matched the in-progress condition that we set. One was assigned to QuickBase Junkie, the other to Chris Baker, and we've got task names. It looks like there's just some test names in here, but it was successful. It created the file and I downloaded it to my computer, but we're not quite done yet, are we? We wanna be able to take this file and email it to someone. So I'll close this here and we'll start adding some additional steps. What I'm going to do is create sort of an intermediate step in order to capture the URL into QuickBase and then trigger a notification off of that record being created. So we're gonna come back up here to QuickBase and I'm gonna create a new record. This new record I'm gonna create back in my simple project manager into that documents table I mentioned at the beginning. This is just a simple table with a few fields that allows me to store documents. So I'm gonna to want to include the URL. And really, I think that's it. 
I've got the URL and the document name. There it goes. So the document name, I want to give it a more descriptive name than the sort of uh, random series of letters and numbers that comes out of QuickBase. In order to do this, what I decided I wanted was today's date. Going back into the QuickBase documentation quickly, here we've got working with date and time in pipelines and specifying date formats. This is the format I want, so I'm literally just going to copy this now and bring it back into my pipeline. So I'm going to start with the date and then call this uh, in progress. That's all I need. It's going to automatically pull in today's date in the year, month, day format and then append the text I have here, which is in progress. The URL, however, I want that to come from the pipeline, from that step before, step D, which we have here. That's the download URL. I'm going to pull that URL into the field in my documents table called URL. Great. So let's take a look at the overall pipeline. We've defined our table. That's the container for the CSV file. We've queried our records, and then for each record, we're adding a row to that CSV file. Once it's done, we're creating that downloadable URL link for the CSV, and then populating that onto a record in QuickBase. I'm going to jump into the QuickBase documents table. You can see I've run this a few times with different tasks. But what I wanted to really show you is the notification. So I set up a notification in this table indicating that a new download is ready. This is just a basic notification. I have it being sent to myself saying that a new CSV file is ready and then including a copy of the document. So that way, anytime a new record is added from the pipeline into this table, I'll automatically get a notification that also includes that URL link that will allow me to download the file. So let's go ahead and trigger this notification. I'm going to hit that Run Pipeline button again. Defining the table, finding the records, looping through each of the records to add rows, generating the CSV file, creating the new record with these details. And I, I don't know if you could hear it, but my phone just buzzed because I got the email with the file in it. So now we can go back into QuickBase. We can see I now have the file URL in here for the in-progress tasks. I just paused because I realized the date here has actually advanced one day into the future. Uh, in my time zone, it is still uh, early afternoon, the day before. So, But either way, it's creating a unique document name for my file. And if I go into my email, I've sent myself a few of these. <laughs> but this latest one in progress tasks with the date of 3-1 is here. In my email, I can download this file simply by clicking and it'll allow me to download that same file. What I don't know and I can't share with you is how long this link will be enabled and usable for downloading your files. I don't know if those get purged at any particular time, but uh, for right now, I know it's working. Fantastic. The last thing that I wanted to show you in pipelines is how to create the scheduled automation. So I noticed something a little wonky and you know, hopefully this changes, but I can't actually click on this scheduled pipeline here. But if I go back out to my pipelines, here's our pipeline that we just triggered three minutes ago manually. I can click on these three dots and choose schedule pipeline. Now there's a double, couple of different options. Let's say I want to do this weekly. Let's do this weekly on, happens to be Saturday, but let's trigger this very shortly into the future. Now this is a 24 hour time clock, so pay mind of that. And we'll make this 40.
We're going to sit here and wait for just a minute while the clock runs down on this schedule because it's pretty cool when it happens. You can actually watch it happening from your dashboard live. Here it goes. It's starting, defining the table, finding the records, creating the loop adding the rows, generating the CSV file, creating the record. And I just got the notification from QuickBase that my email has been sent. So you can see that all happening real time as it's scheduled, which is pretty awesome. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about pipelines. I've put an exercise together for you so you can follow along with detailed instructions, creating the same pipeline for yourself. Head over to quickbasejunkie.com slash pipelines CSV to get access. The link is below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe using the link below. You can also drop me a comment and let me know what you thought and what you enjoyed the most. And then head over to quickbasejunkie.com to grab one of those free downloads. <laughs> Bye for now. Using the link below. Using the link below. Bye for now.